Hello goat lovers, Crystal and Derek here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. Howdy, welcome back to Southern Arizona. It is currently 47 degrees and we're gonna get to 66 today, but the exciting part is we have a 20% chance of rain today. We have clouds, which you really can't see right there, but trust me, they're there. So today we're gonna let those does out on fresh pasture, which is one of my favorite things to do. But first we have to uh, let the weathers out and do all the rest of the chores and feed all the other animals. Morning, Tifers. Good morning. Good morning, Dingo. You got something in your paw there, girl? Morning, Dixie. Morning. Good morning, big guy. How you doing there, Grumbleaja? Yeah? You want mama? Dane. Good morning, little dudes. How's it going? You ready to get out? Yeah. Are you? Ready to go browse? It's a pretty morning. Yeah. Ah, uh, slow bugger. It's kind of the first time that this has ever happened, but the does are going to be right here, right across, directly across from the weathers. And we've tried to avoid that thus far, but it's unavoidable anymore, so. Hopefully they don't want to be together that much and they don't mess with the fence. All right, now that we let the weathers out, we're just gonna walk the fence line back to the corral and just make sure that the wire's not touching the ground or anything. This fence here did connect right to the corner of the uh, corral pin right there, but I moved it over to where the charger is. So now when they come out the same way, they will enter the new pasture. Good morning, girls. <laughs> Give us a second. Those pigs are gonna see us any moment. Good morning, Lodi. Good morning, Lacey. They've noticed. <laughs> Man, I thought goats were loud. Crazy. Legend. Good morning, champ. Good morning, Vader. What's your rooster decal there? Good morning, Everest. Good morning, Lucky. How goats it? Good morning, Merle. Well, it looks like Lucky's awaiting his love glove. Yeah, look, he's showing you where it is. <laughs> it's right there. Everest. Hi, big guy. It's tricky because you can't touch it. <laughs> Hi, Lucky. Good morning. Good morning, Merle. <laughs> What's going on? You guys are kind of calm this morning. Dango, it's not your time. Ugh, big chunk. Come here, luck. Hi, legend. <laughs> oh, poor boy. Rambunctious fellas this morning. Legend, hurry, hurry. I'll get you. Good boy, good boy. Hi, Dingo. Good Hi, big guy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, you better, you better take off. You're gonna get 
scared at all. Vader, you want pet? Heck no. He's not about to risk it. I want fat, he says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. All right, have a good day. Have a good day. Oh, are you giving legend kisses, big guy? That's <laughs> risky. Good morning, ducks. Good morning. All right, guys, I'll be right back with some food. What you doing? Did you see something on that dirt road clear over there? And now you're alerted on top of your poop pile. He's king of the poop pile, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> Some people say you like it up there because it's warmer. But if you can see him panting, He's not trying to get any warmer. Not even when it's cold. He loves the cold. What are you doing, kitty kitty? Reaper? You're not supposed to be in there. What are you doing? You want some alfalfa? Oh, gotta go. <laughs> you want a bone, boy? They all want a bone. Here, Jeepers. <laughs> Fine, here, Dixie. You gonna get your bone? Here, Dingo. He wants to be called. Here, he acts Dan. like he doesn't notice. Here, Jeep, look. That's why we're she's T first, you see? Hold on, I'll show him. This is why she has the her nickname. Name is, her name is Dana, but this is why we call her T first, because she likes to show her teeth when you give a bone to her. <laughs> she looks all vicious. You already ate one. <laughs> Here you go, big guy. No, here I'll put him right there for you, okay? There you go. All right, ladies, I'm I'm working my way that away. What do you say? You guys want to go play? Eat some hay? I'll let you out. I just may. So for those of you that are new to the channel, we breed Nigerian dwarf goats for show. And in here there are 25 Nigerian dwarf goats and 22 of them are pregnant. We are, uh, kidding season is five weeks out. So we are in just in the in between, just waiting for all these uh, pregnant goats to give birth. And we are expecting, uh, you know, somewhere between 40 and 50 baby Nigerian dwarf goats. Won't that be cute? Lodi I think so. So we are lucky enough to have 11 acres of rangeland grass here in southern Arizona. And we rotationally browse our goats on that 11 acres. And we use the Premier One Solar IntelliShock 120, as well as uh, these plastic stakes that I, you can get from a feed store or the tractor supply. I'm pretty sure Benson Feed has some if you want them. And, and we use this wire that you can also get from Premier One or your local feed store. One of the challenges of using this in the desert where it's very, very dry is uh, it's so dry here that the fence doesn't pack as much punch. You know, the ground is not wet at all. One of the things that I've been doing to, to try to mitigate that is every night and every morning when I turn this on and off, I dump water on the ground rod. Just that much every night and every morning. And that keeps the ground wet where the ground rod is and it, and it helps get pack more of a shock if they were to brush up against the fence. Now that being said, when, when all of our goats are trained to the fence, it's in a smaller, closed off, you know, section where we can monitor it. And I saturate the ground all along the wire to where if, when they, when they test out the fence, they have their hooves in the wet soil 
and then when, and then you know you can hear it then it's a good snap and a good pop but th that's this is the trick on how we we use it here in the dry climate Derek just had to go grab something real quick ladies he'll be right back and we'll let you out they got to watch Derek yesterday move the fence and they always get excited because they know what that means Roxy always looks like she has a smile on her face. Hello, you're gonna say hi? Good morning, Roxy. Good morning. Maybelline? Well, Maybelline's fighting Lacey. Huh. These girls are ornery today. All right, we're getting you out, girls. All right. Here they come. Elsa is looking huge, carrying my Swiss dough in there. Hi, ladies. Hi, Lodi. <laughs> All right, check it out, guys. Good morning, May. Hello, Abilene. Lodi. Hi, Cammy. Hi, Cassie. Happy goats. Yes. We've been waiting to get out here. Adorable. Elsa just head butted Roxy for no reason. They're so funny when they go out to new pasture because they're always like on the move, on the move, on the move. Hi, Dreamer. They got to see what's out here. They can choose through their favorites. <laughs> Hi, Cassie. Okay. How are you feeling, Lodi? Huh? You feeling happy to be out here? Having any pregnancy cravings? Just anything and everything you can get your mouth on? <laughs> so Miss Lodi here, her due date is March 10th. Oh, that, that might have been a baby. And I've been kind of worried because she hasn't really been plumping out as much. Her belly's pretty round, but you know, goats can have round bellies. They just have, a healthy goat has a nice big rumen. And she doesn't have an udder bump or anything yet, which is something else I check for. And of course, she's gonna be a first freshener. That might have been a baby I felt. I'm not positive though. But this is her first time kidding, so she's never gotten udder before. And a lot of the times, the first fresheners, the first kidders, um, they'll get it, you know, sometimes even just a couple weeks before they kid. They won't have anything, and then boom, they get an udder right close to kidding. Oh gosh, I could feel that baby sticking out right there. So, hopefully you guys can see that. She is getting an udder bump. And that is the cutest stinking thing ever. It's so cute. So I always get super excited with the little udder bumps. Cause they're so cute. Uh, but, okay, so just want to let you guys know. This is a question, my goodness, we get so much of. 
People want to know how close their goat is to giving labor. Um, whether it be look at the size of the goat, um, the size of the belly, or by gauging the udder. With an udder, you really, there's just so many different variations. You can't look at an udder and just say, oh, well, that goat's gonna be this far out. Um, again, because some goats might get an udder right before, um, just two weeks before, and then, you know, right as they actually go into labor, that's when the udder's gonna really, really expand um, and start filling with milk when they hit labor. But to really, to really just gauge the udder, you, you're not gonna know when your dough is due just because of that. Um, the only time to really know if your dough is due is to write down the due dates or the bread date and 45, 145 to 155 days out is when they're going to kid. With Nigerians, it's more typical to get right around that 145 days. Um, Dawn's the only one that's really ever went 155 on me, but that's typical for Dawn. She's pretty ornery. So, I'm gonna get Maybelline and check on her little udder bump, because she's got one too, and hopefully fill some babies. So we couldn't find Maybelline, we were almost scared, and here she is in here fighting with Grandma Lacey. That is unacceptable, Maybelline. You got an acre and a half to eat, <laughs> and they're in here fighting about something silly. Come on, Lacey. Hormonal. Maybelline, come here, girl. You go browse, Lacey. You stop fighting her. She's old. So, look at this cute little udder. This, she's a darker goat. It's hard to come up on camera sometimes, but I hope you guys can see that because it's adorable. So she's getting one too, and she is due February 27th. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna feel for babies here. For babies, if you guys haven't seen me say it, you're always gonna feel on the right side of their belly, just kind of up above their where their udder is. Come here. You're on one this morning, aren't you? Being stinker. And you don't always fill them, but right around three months, that's when you're gonna start being able to fill babies. And then if you get too, too close to, to when they kid, if they're super full, it's hard to fill them. So I always start filling right around three months. But with her, no, with her fighting, <laughs> the up and down and the moving around, maybe she rocked her babies to sleep. Cause they're not wanting to move. You just bump up lightly, try to wake them up. Did you put your babies to sleep? Yeah, I'm not feeling them move. I know. I can't believe she was fighting like that. I've never seen her try to fight. She's picking on grandma. She's got that May blood in her. And Lacey. All right, you can go browse. Have a good day, be nice. You go away. That's coyotes, really close. Help! There goes Dana. Help! Help! There goes my security force, kicking into high gear. Now the wind's blowing right at us. The those coyotes are not coming this way. My dogs can smell them most likely. So who knows what they're celebrating for. Yeah, Dingo kind of lurks in the background there, ready to strike. All right, so we had a little bit of coyote action. So I'm gonna try to grab Mayo again. Hopefully break up this fight here. Elsa, are you going to put these ladies in check? Not yet. 
Can I can I just have you for a second? Can you go eat? You look like you're starving, girl. Come on. What is the problem? No. Go. Go play. Go play. Go. Get. Nope. Stop. Look at her. I'll see you. <laughs> no, Scott. Get out of here. Let me try to feel for babies. I have not felt babies. Get. What? Hey. That's enough. Get. Get. Poor Mayo. Mayo's not a punk, though, so she was probably enjoying fighting her. Oh, yeah, there's some babies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work right now. They're going to have to fight it out. It's the work. I feel I feel like a leg sticking out right there. It's not moving, but I can feel it. Mayo likes to give twins. And Maybelline is the doe that we retained out of her. She has the most beautiful babies with Everest. So Hopefully she's got some two does in here. We could really use a doe here. That would be swell. All right. Right, girls. A goat battle. The bout to knock the other goat out. In the right corner, we have Big Montana weighing in at just over a ton. Flipping that purple tongue she has around in just utter contempt of Mayo, who is in the left corner. Mayo is weighing in at, I don't know, way less than a ton. Fueled by stubborn bloodlines and a will to not let Sky win whatever she's trying to win here. Ooh. All right, so here's Miss Abilene, and I tell you what, I'd rather be feeling babies and breaking up squabbles. But it doesn't matter. They're gonna have to fight it out. There's nothing I can do to separate them. Even if I did put them in a separate pen because they were fighting, when you put them back together, they're gonna go right back at it. So the only way around it is to just let them fight. Let me see, Abilene. All right, so I'm gonna feel for Abilene's babies. She does not have really much of an udder growing. Not yet, huh? Don't get there. All right. There's May. They're uh, crowded around this mesquite tree because there's uh, mesquite beans on the ground from last year. Like right there, that little, that's a little mesquite bean. And they will go from tree to tree and make sure that there's no mesquite beans left before they move on to their next thing. How goats it, Elsa? Yeah. Another detail or something to be con something I'm concerned about is the fence is right here next to the boys. There's really nothing I can do about that. They can't get out of there, but they're going to be, you know, headbutting each other more and more. Cassie's down in there getting those beans. Ooh, the sun came out. That was a nice break. We went like a whole half hour with a cloud. That, that just doesn't happen.
Oh my gosh, look how big Don is. <laughs> yeah, there's some big girls. I don't know, I'd say Elsa and Don are the biggest. Mayo and Sky are still at it. Little Vogue right here is one of the does that was not bred. She was just too small come breeding time. And the other one is Little Made It right there. And the third one is that girl right there. That's Lacey, the retired doe. Lacey is mother to Little Bit, Lily, grandma to Lodi. She's mother to Lucky and Legend also. Oh yeah, big old section, huh girls? That's why the where the term browsing comes from, because they just take one little bite and just keep moving. See the grump dog up there on the bench? <laughs> Keeping an eye. Yes, our zoom in here. So up there, that uh, that white dot right there, that's the Pyrenees on top of the hill on a bench up there, keeping an eye out for coyotes. And he's got uh, Tifers right there and Dingo right there to back him up. And here is Dixie Dog down here. And here is the Weathers. And they have noticed all of the other goats right across from them. So hopefully that doesn't develop into a problem. It probably won't. All right, we're gonna stand out here and uh, play with the goats for as long as we can. Um, I hope to get the pig palace stained today. And we have rain coming in, like I mentioned. Uh, by Thursday, there's like a 60% chance of rain valley wide. So we're gonna have to get everything picked up and uh, just make sure we're ready for that stuff, the hay covered. And that's what I'm gonna do today. And uh, so we thank you guys for watching and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>